morning here. So excited to go live today and wanted to share with you something awesome. But first, I have something annoying me, so I'm going to make this noise be quiet. <laughs> okay. I had my little white noise thing and it was like distracting me, so I had to turn it off. Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to go live today and talk about why I love coaching teens. And I want to talk to you about it. And I want to talk to you like kind of how the journey that I got here, because if, if someone had told you, like if somebody had told me like three years ago or five years ago, and actually somebody did tell me five years ago when I was in Sedona that I was going to be working with, um, with teenagers at one point, I was told them they were crazy. I was like, you are crazy. There's no way I would work with teenagers. Like not going to happen. Right. And they're like, oh no, you will. Like, not right now, but you will, right? And so the reason I tell you I would think that was crazy is because let's just say my teenage years were very tumultuous, right? My mom um, had cancer, right? So she was sick. She was in and out of the hospital, in and out of cancer treatments. Um, I was bullied. My best friend literally plotted to murder me. Like I had to change schools sophomore year because these big girls tried to like were trying to kill me. Like my teenage years sucked. And I made like a lot of really, really bad decisions in my teenage years. And I'm probably lucky that I survived them. And so when someone told me five years ago ish, I think it was five years ago ish, um, that I was gonna be working with teenagers at some point, I was like, you are totally crazy. Like my teenage years sucked. I don't want anything to do with teenagers or being near teens or having to mentally relive anything that I dealt with as a teenager, right? I was like, I'm totally out. There's no way, like, I'm going to work with grownups, not going to work with teens, not going to happen, right? That's what I said. That was five years ago, five years ago. And I was in sales then. I wasn't a coach. Like, like the fact that like working with, I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I don't know what you're smoking, right? And even as I started my coaching practice, which is probably about a year and a half, almost two years ago, I was like, no, I want to work with women. I want to work with people over 40. Like I want to work with older people, like working with teens and younger people was just like, again, like my teenage years were really, really traumatic. My mom passed away. Like I, it just like having anything to do with children or young people honestly just scared the crap out of me. Like it scared me because that period of my life was so scary. And I was just thought like, I really have nothing to give to anyone in this age group at all. Like it was horrible. Like they don't want any, they don't, they don't want me. Right. <laughs> they don't want me. And then lately, um, so it just happened like about a couple of months ago, my cousin, uh, who's older than me, she's, She's in her, in her late forties had asked me to coach, um, her daughter and a friend of her daughters on, um, preparing for college and all this stuff that was going on with COVID and just a lot of things they had going on. And so I was like, sure, of course I'll help you. Right. Like, of course I'm always wanting to help a family member, like always. And I had the most fun ever on that coaching call. Like it was like the most amazing thing. Like, I had built up in my mind that like working with teenagers was going to be like scary. And it was said it was like the most fun ever. And so I kicked around and my cousins, like you really should start, you should really focus on teens and moms. And I was like, mm, we'll see. Right. But then God started tugging at my heart, tugging at my heart. So I was like, all right, I'm start coaching teens. And so I've started coaching teens in the last couple of weeks. Like that's my main focus. And let me just tell you guys, it is so much fun. Like, I love it. Like the fact that God would give me such a traumatic, like young, a, a teenage, you know, decade and, and that part of my life and like make me just want to run from it, but then circle me back around and realize how like I'm the perfect person to help these young people because I mean, like, I'm not going to like try and play like, ha, ah, who had the worst childhood, who had the worst teenagehood? Like, I'm not trying to, you know, like one up anyone or anything like that's definitely not a badge of honor, like whatsoever. And I'm not trying to compare my life to anyone else's life at all. But let's just say like, I dealt with such a basket of unfortunate circumstances, 
along with bad decisions, along with, you know, that's just kind of snowballed of, of, you know, very, very trying circumstances, pretty much probably choosing the wrong choice just about every time <laughs> as a teenager and like having to live with the ramifications of that, that I am now the perfect person to help these young people because I've been there. I remember it like it was yesterday. And because I'm not their mom, like I can, I can be objective with them. And so it's such a gift. Like I never in my life imagined that my teen years, I would ever look back on as a gift, but I so look back on them as a gift because it enables me to understand and help the teens of today. And it's so much fun, y'all. I love it. I love working with teens. They're so much fun. And what makes it even more fun, besides the fact that I understand them and I can help them, it makes it so much fun, is that every single teen that I help is a teen that doesn't have to suffer like the poor decisions, all the, the <laughs> crap storm of bad feelings and all that that I did. Like they don't have to suffer through that and they don't have to suffer in it in silence. Like I can actually help them get out of it, help them make the better decision, help them like not get weighed down and all the stuff that our brain overwhelms us with. And that is such a gift, y'all. It is such a gift. Like it is, <laughs> it is every bit as much of a gift to me <laughs> to work with young people and spare them the stuff that I went through as it is to them, for them to have a much better life going forward and not have to be weighed down with um, consequences of bad decisions or stress or anxiety or all that best stuff. It's just like, it's just this most amazing win-win and I am so, now I'm so grateful and I'm so blessed that God gave me such a crappy teenage years and that I can use that now to help other people. Like I am now so, so grateful for all the trauma that I dealt with as a teenager because I can help people with it now. Like that's an amazing place to get to. Let me just tell you, if you can be grateful for some of the worst things that's ever happened to you, like if you get to that place, because you can now see the purpose for it, that is like the biggest gift in the world. So I am like so in love with coaching teens. I love helping moms as well relate to their teens and be able to understand what's going on with them. And as I mentioned earlier this week, I opened up six total spots free of free coaching for moms and teens. This is free coaching. This is not followed by a sales pitch. This is not... It is literally free coaching, and if they want to work with me or they want to ask how to work with me, they could ask, and we can set up a separate consult, but this is not for me to ask, or this is not a sales thing. This is literally coaching, just coaching. And I opened up six spots. You can see now from the little ticker that I only have two spots left. So if you want one of those remaining two spots, please drop me a DM, hop into my DMs and say, hey, I would like one of these spots or I'd like these spots for me and my, my teenager, or I have some questions. I think I might want a spot. I have some questions and I will be happy to answer your questions as well. So I wish you a wonderful Friday. I wish you a wonderful rest of your weekend and y'all just keep keeping on. Like know that you can live better now and coaching can help whether you choose to coach with me, whether you choose to coach with another coach or whether you choose to learn self-coaching. It is a thing that will pay dividends to you for the rest of your life. So I wish you a wonderful rest of your Friday. Lots of love. Mwah. Kisses.